Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Barbecue. My name is Mike, and today I'm gonna to be doing a prime rib roast on the Camp Chef Woodwind Wi-Fi. This is sort of an impromptu video. I'm just shooting it with the iPhone. I figured if I'm gonna do this, I might as well bring you along. Maybe you'll get something out of the video. Anyway, it's coming up right now. So for starters, I just figured I'd walk you through my process, uh, you know, of how I use this cooker every time I use it. And it's pellet grills in general, but you know, for the Camp Chef uh, specifically, what I do is I always pull the lever to release any ash that might be in the burn pot into the little cup underneath, and I dump that out. That's like number one. Want to make sure there's not a lot of ash buildup in the burn pot before I turn it on. Now this cooker's been used a few times. Uh, you know over winter and it's like just turning spring and the weather's getting nice so it's due for a good cleaning that's going to be another video i'm going to do coming up just to show everybody how i do that i do a good cleaning twice a year and regular maintenance cleaning is either after every one or three cooks anyway i'll get more into that in that video and uh, if i remember i'll throw an i-card in this video for that one but uh anyway so we're going to be doing this prime rib roast. My wife found this on sale at Meyer yesterday, and she called me and said, they have this, it's on sale. I said, for sure, get it, we'll cook it. And um, I have to prep mine a little different than most. I'm going to be cutting a slice off the end right off the bat for her because she likes everything to be well done. Now, don't worry, the rest of the roast, I'm going to be cooking the proper way because me, my son, and my daughter, my youngest daughter, we like to eat it the proper way. So it's important to remove as much of the fat from the outside of the prime rib roast as possible. That's just going to expose some beautiful meat and surface area for the rub to stick to. And I did a video for SNS Grills not long ago where I just used a simple Montreal steak seasoning on the outside of the prime rib roast, and oh my goodness, did it turn out great. So since then, I've been doing the same thing. This is gonna be my second or third one since, and this is the same seasoning that I've been using. It's very easy, it's very simple, and it tastes delicious. Plus it builds a really nice crust on the outside of it. So anyway, cutting that slice off the end for, for my wife, which I'll cook separately and make sure it's well done. And then the rest of this is gonna go on the Camp Chef at high smoke, which is 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you get all that fat off of there and you get it seasoned up, just let it hang out for a little bit while your cooker's coming up the temperature if it's not already. Now what I like to do for easy cleanup is I'll just put a wire rack on a small tray and I'll put the roast on top of that, slide the whole thing into the cooker, and it's easy to transport in and out, and it's minimal mess cleanup, and you still get just as much smoke flavor. Now my plan for this is just to cook this on high smoke, or smoke this on high smoke rather, which is 220 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll use a five smoke setting for this, because this cooker does have a smoke setting adjustment, and we're just gonna let that come up to temperature slowly. So gonna be about a four and a half or four and three quarter pound roast after I cut that slice off the edge so I'm expecting it to take a little bit um, but once we get it up to about 115 120 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature I'll pull it then I'll get my sidekick with that grill box screaming hot we're gonna sear all sides of this and we'll pull it somewhere around 128 to 130 so that's the plan Let's go ahead and see if we can execute it perfectly. And now that you know how I prepare everything and what the plan is, let's get this roast on the cooker. And we'll get our probe right in the center, thickest area. Now what I'll do is I'll kind of get a measurement here. I'll kind of have an idea of how deep I need to go. So right in this area here, good to me so now we just sit back and relax enjoy the outdoors enjoy all the beautiful smells coming off of this cooker and we'll be ready to sear as soon as this thing hits about 115 118 degrees in turn okay exactly one hour has gone by and the prime rib roast is at 80 degrees internal temperature I'm looking over there now uh, Cooker's holding in perfectly with temperature, 222 degrees. And you can see we're getting a nice crust on the outside and just looks beautiful, smells wonderful out here. I really, really can't wait to sear this bad boy. I actually forgot to tell you that I just put my wife's piece of prime rib on too because I forgot. So at 80 degrees, I put it on. So here's what it looks like. So I put it up on the top rack and hopefully 
these things will get done right around the same time. We'll see. All right, it's been about two hours total and the rib roast is now at 118 internal temperature. So now it's time to pull this, let it rest for a few minutes while I get this grill box all set up for the sear. While I'm resting that rib roast, I'm gonna go ahead and sear her steak off and make it just like she likes it, which is way more than probably you and I would like it. All right, the wife's steak temped out, so now I've got this prime rib roast on here, and I'm just gonna basically sear this on all four sides and hopefully hit the right temperature. We're gonna try to pull this right around 128 or so, somewhere in that area. Alright, so I just temp this at 127, 128, and it feels perfect. It's got a great crust on the outside. It's time to pull this from the cooker. I'm gonna get it over here onto my little rack baking sheet thingy. We'll cover it in foil for a little bit and we'll slice into it. All right, everybody, that was, that was just incredibly delicious. It came out absolutely fantastic. I had ah, darn near wall-to-wall -wall red. It was just a perfect, like, medium rare on the inside. And the crust on the outside was just amazing. That's one thing I really love about being able to use the Camp Chef pellet grill combined with either the sear box or the grill box attachment. And I'm sorry if it's windy right now, but I'm outside, uh, is that it gives you that really nice steakhouse sear on the outside whether you do a front sear or a reverse sear and that flavor is just you know you miss it you miss it if you don't have like a searing apparatus uh, something that gets really hot this grill box will get over 700 degrees so um, anyway so for the sear I seared it for about a minute and a half aside roughly and it still wasn't quite done yet it was like 122 uh, ish uh, 123 ish and what I did is I just turned the sear box down to low and I uh, left the uh, prime rib on the uh, it's not sear box it's the grill box I left it on the grill box with the lid closed for just a few more minutes and I finished it off slowly there until I cracked 128 wrapped it in foil rested it for about five minutes maybe seven and then we sliced into it uh, served it up with uh, a nice mushroom gravy that I make and I'll put a link to a video uh, up here for you here there wherever that uh, I did uh, that recipe it's my recipe this time I only did like mushrooms sometimes I'll do onions too but uh, all the other stuff's the same I'll put a link for it there if you want to know about it and dinner was outstanding everybody enjoyed it so I did not film inside and like you know all that because uh, I just didn't want this to be an intrusive video on my family I just wanted it to kind of do b-roll inside and everything and just have a normal family dinner so often filming does uh, become very intrusive on family and so when I do videos like this and I'm filming with the iPhone I still like to keep you know things as normal inside as possible but still be able to share the experience with everybody so anyway that's going to do it for this video i hope you enjoyed it uh i know it's not going to be the best quality video because it's iphone and a sure mic here but i hope it does the trick i hope you get something out of it and i appreciate you spending time with me today so like i always say take care until next time see you on the next episode